This Health Ranger Report Pandemic Podcast is brought to you by naturalnews.com for uncensored reporting and healthrangerstore.com for lab-tested preparedness supplies such as storable food, full face medical masks, biostructured silver first aid gel, and iodine only while supplies last. All right, this is March 11th evening uh, pandemic.news update. Mike Adams here, of course. I found a press release today from Sacramento County, California. The press release is dated two days ago. This is an emergency situation. I wish I would have seen it two days ago. They announced that in an effort to stop the spread of the virus, they're canceling all 14-day quarantines of high-risk people who have been in close contact with people who are confirmed infected. So yes, and I didn't misspeak just then. If you're hearing this and you're saying WTF, yeah, we all are saying that. So Sacramento County, California has announced, and I've seen the official press release on their website, they are canceling all 14-day quarantines. They're no longer doing any quarantines for people who are high risk after having come into close contact with other confirmed coronavirus infected patients. And they are saying in their press release that they are now shifting from, quote, containment to mitigation. Okay, you got that? You got that? (laughs) Yeah. They're shifting from containment to mitigation. Now, the way the rest of us would describe this is that they are trying to deliberately spread the virus. So this is an anti-Trump county in California. They want the virus to spread. They want it to be bad so they can blame Trump. This is part of what has been going on in Seattle and probably in areas around New York. There is a deliberate effort underway. Now we have proof of it that these Trump-hating, anti-American, left-wing counties literally want the virus to spread and are actively taking steps to spread it. So let me be clear here. Trump should arrest these people, these county Decision makers, health department people, I don't know who they are. They should all be in handcuffs. They should be marched out of there. It's time to stop the bullshit. We cannot have criminally negligent county leaders or city leaders or state leaders who are deliberately trying to spread the virus. And yeah, they can sugarcoat it in their press release and say, oh, this is an effort to stop the spread. But really what they're doing is spreading it. They should be arrested. So I hope what happens very soon is that Trump declares a national emergency and he sends the military police to Sacramento County to arrest these morons who are deliberately trying to spread the virus across America. And anybody else who tries that crap should be in handcuffs and should be prosecuted. You cannot contain the virus by not containing the virus, okay? I know it should be common sense. You can't contain the virus by releasing everybody who might be infected, especially when there's no testing going on virtually across the country. Now, there's some testing, a minimal amount of testing. We know that because the numbers are starting to skyrocket. At the moment I'm recording this, there are now 1,200 confirmed infections across America. But that number probably should be 12,000. The reason it's only 1,200 is because people can't get tested. We keep hearing the stories, even today, all across the country, people who think they have this infection, they have the symptoms, they've traveled, they go in to a hospital or a clinic or a doctor's office, they try to get tested, the doctor tells them the same thing. Oh, we can't get any tests. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., Azar, HHS, Mr. Azar there, he's saying, oh, there's, there's millions of tests everywhere across the country, millions of tests. Everybody can get tested. Uh, he's lying. And every doctor in America knows that. He's just lying. So when you have this combination of bureaucrats in Washington who are flat out lying and then left-wing anti-Trump people running counties where they are deliberately spreading the virus, combined with the criminal negligence of the CDC that withheld testing kits for three to four weeks in America, allowing it to spread at an exponential rate, completely unmonitored. When you have these three things combined, how do you stop the virus? Oh, and and the fourth thing is then Trump is still in a state of denial. He doesn't think this is bad. Trump is being set up. Trump is being 
set up for the kill shot here. He's going to be blamed for the millions of infections that are on track to happen if we don't change course right now. So this, this is a, an actual conspiracy to use a biological weapon to cause mass death and destruction and economic damage across America in order to remove Trump from office. That's what this is. And as we've said before, the anti-Trump Democrats, they don't care how many people die or who suffers or how much damage is done to the country. As long as they get rid of Trump, it's mission accomplished for them. They're literally trying to spread this. Now, if you go to South Korea, and if you were to say to the leaders of South Korea, hey, in America, we have counties that, that are just releasing people, people who, who, who might be infected. We're not testing anybody, but we're just releasing them. We've ended the quarantines. The Koreans would think you're nuts. The Koreans would be mocking America as a third world nation, like some backwoods, bushwhacking, I don't know, some, some uneducated, unsophisticated, low-tech nation or something. Like what? You can't test people? You can't test people, really. And then even when you can't test people, but you have a group of people that you think might be infected, you just release them? What? <laughs> yeah, seriously. This is what's happening in California. Those of you listening from California, you should demand the arrest of the county officials of Sacramento County. They should be put in handcuffs and charged and marched out of there. I'm not kidding. And as this collapse accelerates, we know who to blame. We know who caused this. The CDC caused it. The California officials caused it, or Sacramento County anyway. And by the way, Trump, Trump is contributing to it by not blocking flights from Italy. Why are you not blocking flights from Italy? So Italy is full of infected people. And South Korea has a lot of infected people, you know, thousands, many thousands. Italy's gone to 12,000, and yet flights are still coming in and out of the United States from all these other countries, France and Germany and Spain, where there are large numbers, many thousands of infections, and yet we still have flights from those countries? What? You know, rule one in stopping a pandemic is you have to stop the new introduction of new infections into your population or region. That's rule number one, folks. That's like epidemiology 101. If there were a kindergarten for epidemiologists, this would be taught in kindergarten. You have to stop the new infections from coming in. Trump should be deploying the military to the border. He should be blocking the border right now. And he should be blocking all international flights from countries that have a large number of infections. And he should be blocking domestic flights in the USA right now. Shut them all down. All commercial flights. Maybe you could let general aviation still, still fly, you know, private jets and such. But Shared airplanes, commercial flights, shut them all down. So not only do we have the criminal negligence of Sacramento County people, the utter stupidity or incompetence of the CDC, we have Trump in a state of denial, still allowing flights into the country from nations that have high numbers of infections. Almost nobody can get tested in America. And yet Rush Limbaugh is still out there saying this is no worse than the flu. People. Our country has gone insane. We are now living in a retarded zombie apocalypse, dystopian sci-fi B movie. It's bad. The, the people who are in charge at the county level, at the state level, at the federal level have lost their minds. The Democrat candidate for president is an Alzheimer's patient named Joe Biden. The Republican president has no clue how viruses spread. The CDC can't make testing kits that they have in Indo-freaking-nesia. <laughs> I mean, what? And yet we are told America is the most prepared country in the world? What? Folks, it's going to get bad. Part of it is by design. Part of it is just sheer incompetence. Part of it is rank denial, mass stupidity, brainwashing, indoctrination, cult mentality, people who can't think for themselves. It's going to get bad. And those of us who have been right from day one, Day, from day one, I've laid out exactly how this is going to happen. And yet we get attacked and we get smeared and we get censored because the truth is the last thing that the American people want to hear right now. They want to hear that their investments and their pensions and their 401ks are all going to be safe and sound. They want to hear that they can go out and get their Starbucks coffee 
without interruptions. They want to know that they can go to the rodeo without the rodeo getting shut down. Well, guess what? Just got shut down in Houston, by the way. People are in a state of zombie denial, and this will not end well. And if you want to live, keep reading pandemic.news because I'll give it to you straight. This is Mike Adams, the health ranger. I pray for our nation. I pray for the president. I pray that he comes to his senses and extricates himself from this trap that has been set for him. But we can't depend on Trump. We can depend on our creator. We can depend on God, our faith, our preparedness, our wisdom, and perhaps each other. Nothing else can be depended upon because everything is collapsing, including rationality, intelligence, Basic logic is collapsing all around us right now. Our country will not survive this unless we change course. And the Trump administration will collapse unless we change course. So stay tuned. Keep reading pandemic.news. Mike Adams here, the Health Ranger. Thank you for sharing. When it comes to prepping, you not only need good products that can help keep you alive, awake, aware, and nourished during difficult times, you also need products you can trust. At the Health Ranger store, we do extensive laboratory testing using an in-house lab that's ISO accredited. It's inspected, it's audited. It's a two-year process to even get that accreditation. We use multiple mass spec instruments, state-of-the-art science. I'm a published science author as well and a patent holder on several technologies, some of which we use variations of in our lab. The purpose of this lab is to help you make sure you get clean foods, superfoods, storable foods for emergency preparedness and survival use. We have a certified organic lab tested it's called Ranger Bucket Collection of storable foods with some survival gear in the buckets to help you even boil water and cook those foods and so on. It's a, a fantastic product. We can barely keep it in stock even during normal times. In a crisis, we'll be wiped out of this product because it, it actually takes us a lot of time to make those products. But if they're in stock, you can get them now at healthrangerstore.com slash prep with Mike. In fact, go to that URL healthrangerstore.com slash prep with Mike. And you'll see some of our survival and preparedness supplies, including iodine, colloidal silver products and gel first aid products, storable foods, superfoods, medicinal herbs for first aid and much more. We have a lot of products for you to help you be self-reliant, to be safe, to survive difficult circumstances, natural disasters and all kinds of things. If you wanna get prepared, do it with us at the Health Ranger store so that you know you're getting safe, clean, laboratory verified preparedness foods, supplements, and other related products. Again, the URL is healthrangerstore.com forward slash prep with Mike. All one word, no spaces. Prep with Mike. I'm Mike Adams. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com. For the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.